Awesome. Thank you all so much for showing up. That was totally rad of you to do that. Thank you. Uh, yeah, welcome to our Purim spiel. Hey, Barbie. Hey, man. <laughs> so the Purim spiel is kind of different from a Megillah reading. If you boo at us, it hurts our feelings. <laughs> So, yeah, but for, for the sake of, like, like being able to get through the show, we're going to ask that you, like, hold in your hatred for Haman just, like, a little longer and, like, push it down and, like, make a diamond out of that. All right. <laughs> uh, turn off your cell phones. You can call me later. You can call me later. You can call me later. <laughs> All right, uh, if you need it, if you've never been into our Mojo Dojo Casa House before, uh, the bathrooms are just down the hallway. Please feel free at any time if you think you need. But otherwise, unless there are any, any other announcements, y'all? Okay, I think we can start the show. All right. All right. Hey, Vashti. Vashti. Hey, doll. I'm no doll, some little pink thing that you think you can play with. I'm a real woman. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was wondering, can you come over later? Uh, I kind of had something planned. You know, nothing big. Just, you know, a giant blowout party with all the Vashtis with planned choreography and a bespoke song. But I guess you can stop by, sure. Well, I was hoping that you could come to my parties. The guys have some outfits that they want you to try on. Oh, oh, great. And I'm sure I'll be doing that right in the middle, as usual. You know, I don't want you to undress me anywhere, let alone parade me around, letting anyone who wants to, to undress me. That's the way it's done, baby. <sighs> I'm not going to change that. You want to blow up everything? You know what? Speaking of blow-ups, I'm not that kind of doll either. It's your job to stand around and look pretty, like at the beach. I'm sorry. What did you just call me? Uh, you know what? I'm done with this. I am so sick of being toyed with, and I'm sick of being in your little fantasy land. I'm out of here. <sighs> you think it's better for you out in the real world? Good luck. And good riddance. Man, okay, bros. Boshti's gone, and I have no one left to play with. You can do it alone. Yeah, but it's not the same when I play with myself. King, I think there are more pressing matters than your pressing your matter. The queen's behavior will make all wives despise their husbands. It's now reflects that King Ahasuerus is himself, or a Queen Vashti be brought before him, but she would not come. But that's what I don't get. If she'd wanted to, I would have come. She said we'd be playmates forever. I even wrote her name on the underside of my shoe. That's not what she meant by wanting to do the She was toying with you. Toying with me? <laughs> Forget her games. I can play with myself. Let's get you a better wife, a new model. But nothing like crazy, okay? Oh, come on. They're all the same. You'll be fine. Hi. I'm starting to have strange thoughts. Like about dying? No. About the world itself. What if our systems and institutions, they're not what we think they are? What if we're just being given the idea that the world is perfect, while well, really it's just covering up for mass inadequacies and problems that most of us just deny? Esther, if you're concerned about how things go, you can't stay here in our little world. You have to go out into the world and be a real Persian. Oh. But out there, all they care about is my looks. You could make something of yourself. A woman of value. You mean a woman of value? No, uh, not here. Look, the king is out there looking for the right person to be the new queen. 
Someone he can play with. You mean stay with? No, play with. So what's in this for me then? Well, I'm told there's a virtually endless variety of outfits and a place in Malibu. Fine, I'll do it. But I swear, Mordecai Allen Sherwood, if this goes badly, I'll replace you so fast nobody will even remember your name. Whoa. Ladies, 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 welcome to the Rojo, Mojo Dojo Casa Dream House. Hey. <laughs> I'm looking for a new queen. Who do we have first? Hi, my name's Skipper. Aren't you a little young to be the queen? I mean, I'm old enough for you, aren't I? Okay, we're trying to rehab your reputation. Maybe someone more your age. Yeah, you're right. Skipper, thanks for coming out. I'm sure you'll do great things all by yourself. Hi. Who's next? Hi, I'm Samantha Parkington. I'm an American girl. I'm kind, smart, and I have a beautiful 1904 dress. I don't understand what that means. America won't be discovered for 2,000 years. I come with a book. Oh, I don't want to read. If it doesn't have a centered fold, <laughs> I'm not interested. And I certainly don't want a wife who has a book named after her. Next. Hey, how you doing? I guess that's me. <laughs> What's your name? Esther Hadassah Barbara Roberts. Yeah, I'm never going to remember that. So I'm just going to call you Barbie. <laughs> just so I'm sure, do you have any books named after you? Well, it's a scroll. Whatever. I don't need the whole Megillah. You'll do. Go to the dream house of the women and they'll set you up as the new queen. Barbie being here is a threat. I, I think she's delightful. But she's opinionated and unique. It's true. You can't put her in a box. Ooh. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> I, I, I said, it's true. Don't hit me. No, 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 no. About the box. I was merely suggesting she defies categorization. You said box. We could capture her and put her in the box. But what about the king? He's quite fond of her. Then we'll put him in a box as well. <laughs> Cart him off somewhere. Uh, you mean like a cubicle? I mean, from the training video, I definitely think corporate Shushan is crushing creativity and stifling innovation. Not to mention continuing to help perpetuate sexist gender roles through rigid work requirements and schedules. No, you yo-yo. Let's throw him in a dungeon. Oh my, I've got to tell Esther. Esther, 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 Esther you've got to tell the king. You're both in danger. Big Don and Terish, they're planning to do away with you. Why? They're not in love with me, too, are they? Ugh, it feels like most unrealistic beauty standards. They're just putting me in a position where I'm constantly being sexualized or punished for it. And No, no, they're eunuchs. They're as anatomically impaired as a Ken doll. <laughs> they think you're a threat as long as you're out there upsetting the status quo. Okay, fair enough. But... You think being an outspoken woman, going to the king, it's going to fix that? Look, he, he likes you, and, and, you know, sometimes we can't just give up on our favorite toys. Failing that, he might just like playing with your box. <laughs> king, Esther, <laughs> Big Town and Terish, they're plotting against you. A corporate takeover, eh? I'm not scared of them. I've gotten rid of more suits than a Reno Blackjack player. <laughs> this is serious. They might not be the only ones who feel that way. What if boardrooms all across Shushan, people begin to break free of the arbitrary rules and allow for open offices, flex time, and working from home? 
That's nothing a good firing or firing squad can't fix. <laughs> I love a motivated workforce. Very true. If you let them go, though, somebody else will just hire them, and they can easily bring just as much danger to another country. <laughs> but that's a terrible idea. Are you sure that even a disgraced, legally impaired person dismissed from their last job would ever be able to get hired again? Let alone after having tried to subvert the government and take power for themselves? <laughs> Who would ever give them a position of authority? They're white, so probably more people than you think. Well, then let's have them design ethnically diverse toys and not decide whether they're for boys or for girls. Oh, they'll hate that. Hey, ladies. Check out the perfect man, Persian version. Hey, wh where are you going? What, what, what gives, man? You scared away my chicks. They were into me. I think they like fun and they can do what they want. And who are, you know. But you're a Jew. What do you know about fun? Your best toy is a top. It's part of a gambling game that's based solely on luck and usually played for raisins or something gross on a minor holiday thank you excuse me but we invented the original fidget toy what good are those what can i say the ladies appreciate how we use our hands they like a good leaning you can what i'm saying i'm twice the man you are real men don't go around reading real men hunt lions and drink bourbon Typical. Thinking women are only interested in physical strength. Wuss. One day you'll bow down to me. You'll see who this, who's the olive dog. I only bow down to God. The real God. Not some figurine. You should show more respect to something found in millions of homes around the world. I won't <laughs> worship an idol any more than an instant pot. And those <laughs> do something. And I won't bow down to you. Well, you'll pay for this. Your Majesty, yeah. there is a certain people scattered and dispersed among the other peoples in all the provinces of your realm who are different from those of any other people and who do not obey the king's laws. And it is not in your Majesty's interest to tolerate them. Yeah, we can't have that. They'll start taking our jobs. Only Persians should get to be fashion designers, flight attendants, nurses, tennis players, candy stripers, astronauts, fashion editors, Olympic skiers, fashion models, babysitter. They'll want to live in our neighborhoods, in our dream houses. Who are these people? Jews. Well, what do you suggest we do? Let's pick a date, and on that date, hang them all. We can cast lots. Cast lots? You want to play games? This is life and death here. We're not talking about toys. But people love dates. Give them a date, and something's supposed to happen, and they'll line up. Like, a, like, a, like when Oppenheimer came out. <laughs> people even dressed up for it. Although, I don't remember Dr. Oppenheimer wearing that much pink. Nobody is going to line up to be killed. So we give them a reason to line up and let them be killed. What if, check this, what if we say there's a Taylor Swift album coming out? They'll trample one another just trying to buy it. But she's not Jewish. Sure, but Jews like her music too. And if we release the album on, say, the 12th of Adar. That's a Saturday. Right. And they can't buy anything on Saturday, but the next day they can, and then we got them. Hey, man, you've got yourself a deal. <laughs> Doesn't seem to matter what I do. I'm Shushan's number two. 
No one knows how hard I've tried. Oh, I, I have feelings that I can't explain. Driving me insane. All my life been sucking up. Cause I'm Heyman. And I'm great beyond your ken. Is it my destiny to live and die out of Shushan's elite? I'm Heyman. When I'm above you still won't bend. What will it take for him to see the catch behind the stash and bow to me? I'm gay men and I play rough when he's hanging round and stuff. So hear lots about me. I'm gay men. Maybe I'm gay men. Oh. Mem, you can! I can't sleep. Do you want me to pull you a glass of warm milk? No, I need something that's really going to put me to sleep. How about a product safety card? <laughs> this product is known to the kingdom of Shushan to cause cancer. Whoa, now I'm more awake than ever. I was just trying to save your life. Save my life? Wait a second. That guy Mordechai saved my life, and I never thanked him. Haman, Haman, get in here. Haman, what should be done for a man whom the king desires to honor? Ooh. Would the king desire to honor more than me? For the man whom the king desires to honor, let royal garb which the king has worn be brought and a horse on which the king has ridden and on whose head a royal diadem has been set. And let the attire and the horse be put in charge of one of the king's noble courtiers. And let the man whom the king desires to honor be attired and paraded on the horse through the city square while they proclaim before him, this is what is done for the man whom the king desires to honor. Yeah. <laughs> Riding on a horse, because horses are men extenders, and I am a real man. <gasps> a parade? Those are so boring, man. I'm not interested in watching a bunch of things full of hot air. Apparently you've never met your courtiers. What? Uh, nothing. How about you build a statue? Oh, but statues are so expensive. And then when the person turns out to be an awful person, everybody gets all mad and wants to tear down the statue. Well, not everyone. Some folks can't seem to separate the misdeeds of those bygone eras from their own prejudices. Sounds to me like there are very fine people on both sides of that debate. <laughs> No way, dude. Even as a tyrannical monarch, the refusal to acknowledge mistakes of the past, <laughs> that's a bit much even for me. I'm all about tearing down evidence of my past mistakes. <laughs> okay. What if we think smaller? Give everyone a small version of the statue. Say about yay high. <laughs> Excellent. See that Mordechai is afforded this honor. Mordechai? Ah! Esther, Esther, you have to do something about Haman. He wants to kill us. Ugh. Life was so much better in the palace. I come back here and everything's a mess. I'm going to go back there. Do not imagine that you, of all the Jews, will escape with your life by being in the king's mojo dojo casa palace. I'll be fine. I've been put through far worse with the king. But Haman wants all the Jews hung. Well, that would be a nice change of pace. Esther, you have to take this seriously, or we are all going to die. And who knows? Perhaps you have attained to royal position for just such a crisis. But how am I going to get him to listen? Nobody gets to him without an invitation. How about a banquet? He loves food, 
and you have been a, a cook, a bakery chef, a pasta chef, a TV chef, food truck owner. Didn't you own your own restaurant once? Yeah. So you'll do it. I mean, once you've been an astronaut and a doctor, throwing a little dinner party shouldn't be too hard. Fine. I'll do it. That stupid Jew, Mordechai. What is it now? First, he won't bow down to me when I can clearly do more push-ups. <laughs> and now, the king wants to honor him. He's rubbing it in my face. Oh, he's trying to Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see. He manipulated the king, who he's never met into honoring you over you just to get at you. Yeah. But you're the superior one. Yes. So he's playing games. Yes. <laughs> well, can't be yeah. all bad, can it? No, Queen Esther invited me to a banquet. Oh, so you can get all dolled up. <laughs> Apparently, in addition to being queen and an astrophysicist and a dog walking business owner, she's also a chef. You should bring something. It's impolite to show up empty cabinet. Could you make something? What's for dinner tonight? Shrimp. Well, then throw another shrimp on the grill? I, I'll take some with me. What troubles you, Queen Esther? What is your request? Even to half the kingdom, it shall be granted you. <laughs> I'm in danger. Oh no, what? Well, for starters, last week, someone wanted to cut off all my hair and draw on my face. Yeah, that happens sometimes. It's how they show they love you. Has anybody done that to you? Oh, of course not. I'm a man. It's different for women. I could give you an impassioned speech about all of the double standards being a woman, but there's something much worse happening to me. Haman, he wants to kill all of the Jews. And I'm Jewish. What? <laughs> Honestly, I thought you would have figured it out by now. I mean, think about all the accessories that I come there. <laughs> I've got Shabbat candles, a copy of the Mishkan Tefillah, a oh, yeah. Torah. I even have a lifetime membership to Hadassah. <laughs> this is great. All those people wanting me to be politically correct. I guess anyone can succeed here. And Esther, you specifically are the example of a successful minority in Shushan. No, 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 no. She is one of those immigrants trying to replace us and take our jobs. You want to be one of my wives? I mean, I guess that's progressive and all, but... You know what I mean. They have been here for, what, a week? And already she's the queen? This is why everyone hates you. Well, millions of girls want to play with me. How about you, Heyman? Oh, sick burn, dude. <laughs> you know, I have had enough of your blonde, bimbos, brazen barbs. Hey, I'm a Barbie girl in the Barbie world. <laughs> All child's play. They want us to be the model minority. They want us to be white, but only when compared to other groups. They want us to handle their money, but also complain that we run all of the banks. They want us making movies, but not about ourselves. They want us to pray quietly and subtly like they do. They want to go on thinking theirs is the only holiday. They want to champion the Persian dream and upward mobility but they don't want us to climb too high. They say they won't hire us because we have too much power and money. But how can we if they won't hire us to even work under them? We're blamed for what other Jews do, but never praised for what Jews achieve. We're told to go back where we came from, but that we're too loyal to Israel as well. I am so tired of watching myself and every other Jew tie themselves in a knot so that people will like us. And if that also true for the queen, then I don't know how everyone else can. Wow, that sounds pretty rough. I never realized you had it so hard. And now on top of 
that, Haven wants to kill us. We need your help, your highness. He likes to clothe. I'm taking him down. He's got to go. Let's throw his hats out. Show him the door. It's what I'm here for. We're still alive. This is my appeal. We will survive. I've got this whole spiel. It's what I'm here for. It's what we're here for. Cause I, I can wait to hear him squeal. That haven guy. It's real. He's shifting all right. We will arrive. How will it end? How them be headed? They'll try again. We're well defended, we'll even up the score. That's what I'm here for. And I, I can't wait to hear him squeal, that Haman guy. Soon he'll be smiting that him and Clyde. Can't wait, he's buried. Let's show him the door. Now his arts look poor. That's what I'm here for. It's my girl. King, you can't believe this. There's nothing between her ears. Are you saying she's hollow? I, I was trying to make a clumsy sexist remark. She's not one of us. Get rid of her and the Jews. She's the queen. Take off those fancy clothes, and what is she? Naked? <laughs> Weird that you'd bring that up in front of me. Are you trying to make a pass at my wife in my own Mojo Dojo Casa Hadassah house? I don't share my playthings. What should we do with you? How about putting him under the sun in a magnifying glass? Oh, that's perfect, babe. It's a diabolical punishment and a valuable science lesson. It's always better when there's an educational component, don't you find? I find that even when you're torturing people, you're boring. Toys are for fun, not for learning or empowerment. God, take him away! <laughs> Got it. King. There's still the matter of the order about killing off the Jews. Oh, I did say no takesies boxies, didn't I? You have to do something. Doing things is not really my strong suit. I usually let other folks come up with the whole plan, and then I just play along. I have an idea. Where did you come from? Oh. Well, I was just hanging around. <sighs> Who do you have a way to save the Jews? Yeah, let's fight back. Rock'em, sock'em, rabbis! I love it! 
and I need a new best buddy. Will you be my best friend? Okay, sure. As long as I can get some snacks when I come over. My parents only ever have dry and stale hamantash. Ew, stale hamantash. You don't like hamantash? Stale hamantash. Oh, fine, good hamantash. <laughs> sure, the Jews will enjoy crystal light and gladness. <laughs> Ken. Hey, Barbie. You want to go stop genocide? Sure, Ken. Jump in. <laughs> in a Persian world, Haman's drastic. Makes my heart sick. Jews will say their prayers. Let's Haman close his snares. His machination, wreaking devastation. Out of 13, we're the target. When the cannons roll, and their noses twirl, he's bombastic. Jews will say their prayers, lest him enclose his snares, his machination, wreaking devastation. As Suthan with the girls, brought the plan far and furled, hurry up, go and fight Haman's folly. She's no doll in her role, she's stronger than you think, she is here and it's where she'll be saving. We won't fetch. We will try. You might say, this girl's a force. Kiamatati girl in a Persian world. Haman spastic makes my heart sick. Jews will say their prayers. Let's Haman close their snares. His machination wreaking devastation. All the 13, we're the target. All the 13, we're the target. Yeah. Odd I 13, we're the target. Ah, uh, 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 yeah. Odd I 13, we're the target. Oh, I'm having so much fun. Well, Barbie, we're just getting started. I love you, Ken. And then the tech in the back. Thanks, the tech. <laughs> Social. All right, y'all. Thanks so much for coming to our totally awesome Purim spiel. We have some like totally tasty munchies for you all down in the social hall. So if you wanted to head on down, we'll bring our Barbie photo booth there and we'll take some pictures together. Love you. <laughs> oh, wait, so make a photo. Make a photo. In the back, hold on. Get a quick photo. Thank you so much, Rabbi.